Well, good Sunday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Lexi Birmingham with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team with a quick tropical update. And today is October 1st. We've been in hurricane season for about three months now. So here is what we have seen so far. From June 1st, the start of hurricane season up until now, we have seen 17 named storms, six of which have become hurricanes, three of which have become major hurricanes, which again is a category three or higher. Those storm names are Hurricane Franklin, Hurricane Idalia, and Hurricane Lee. Now kind of comparing this to the numbers from NOAA and Colorado State, keep in mind too that NOAA did kind of adjust their numbers a little bit on August 10th as we were approaching the peak of hurricane season. But either way, both of these institutions did predict an above average season. Now normally we see about 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and about three major hurricanes. So as of right Right now we're kind of riding that line between being just around average to being just above average. Keep in mind though we have two months left to go of the hurricane season as it will wrap up on November 30th. As of right now we have two tropical storms we're currently monitoring. We have Tropical Storm Philippe and Tropical Storm Rena. Philippe is going to continue to slowly and gradually strengthen over the next couple of days and could most likely become a hurricane by the end of this upcoming work week. It does have a westerly track but you will notice it will curve its way back up to towards the north and the northeast, kind of heading out into the open Atlantic. So it is not a threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast or even the United States as a whole. As for Rena, Rena continues to slowly weaken and it will continue to do so over pretty much the rest of the day today and will most likely dissipate by tomorrow. Well, don't forget, you can head on over to WKRG.com. Under the weather tab, we have tracking the tropics. We also have our interactive hurricane map room. That's a place where you can also track the storms that we're currently tracking at this time and also find valuable and resourceful information as the last two months of hurricane season gets underway.